And now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity, for which I ask my friends on the panel to blindfold themselves, as you all know. Are those blindfolds in place, panel? They yes, are, John. Good. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? As you know, panel, in the case of our mystery challenger, we go to a different form of questioning. You ask questions one at a time, in turn, clockwise. And let's begin with um, Arlene Francis. Are you in the entertainment world? Yes. Mr. Gable. Are you a female? Yes. Miss Kilgallen. Are you primarily known for your work in the movies? Yes. Mr. Sir. Are you a superb dancer? Professionally? No. Hmm? no. One down and nine to go, Miss Francis. Are you in New York because you are publicizing a new picture that is about to open? No. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Gable. Have you a picture now playing on Broadway? No, sir. Three down and seven to go, Miss Kilgallen. You hesitated for quite a long time when I asked if you were primarily known for your work in the movies. Have you appeared on the New York stage, too? No, ma'am. Four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. <laughs> the, the last time you looked in the mirror, were you blonde? No, sir. No? <laughs> five down and five to go, Miss Francis. Uh, have you appeared on television? Yeah. Mr. Gable? Uh, have you ever appeared at, in nightclubs? No, sir. Six down and four to go, Miss Kilgallen. Never appeared in nightclubs? Golly. Uh, she has a picture on Broadway. Excuse me, John, I know we didn't ask for a conference. Um, My fault, John. It's all right. <laughs> you have never appeared on the New York... I'm just going over this because I, I don't think I've gotten straight. She has not appeared on the New York stage or nightclubs. But television, John. Uh, well... Have you ever made any records? Singing records? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Sir? Well, you said you weren't a blonde. Uh, can we take it for granted, then, that you're a brunette? <laughs> no. no. No, you can't. That's seven down and three to go, Miss Francis. Well, had it. <laughs> <laughs> it's Yule Brunner. No. <laughs> Well, that leaves, that leaves us a redhead and a white-haired lady, and she sounds more red-headed than white-headed. Uh, are you red-headed? Yes. Mr. Gable, are you about to appear, appear in a television spectacular of some kind? Yes. Mr. Kilgallen? Oh. I pass. <laughs> are you an American girl? I can't hear the, I can't hear the answer Oh, I'm sorry, the microphone didn't work there for a minute Would you answer the question? <laughs> By birth, I meant, of course no. Yes what, what was that? I'm yes. sorry She's American Question, are you an American girl? The answer is yes, Miss Francis Now, you said a television spectacular Um... Is this, a, is this a television program that has uh, at its head either a male or female star? <laughs> What's funny about that? Well, now that'll get you a yes. And then you won't know any more than you did before. Yes. Well, because it could be just a loose spectacular. <laughs> The answer is definitely yes. Program. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Gable. Uh, is it a male star? Yeah. Miss Kilgallen? Perry Como. Perry Como it is. All right, now tell me the next. It's Perry <laughs> Como. But that's not Perry Como. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's somebody here. May we have a conference? Yes, uh, you may have a conference for when, 10 uh, seconds. When is he, Arlene and, uh, seems to be orbiting in on something. Or No, I just know that Iris somebody is here from Hollywood to be in a Perry Como show this coming week. A redhead? Red. 
who has never Who's appeared red-headed? in supper clubs. Uh, Wait a minute. Whoops. But she's supposed to be on the coast. Take a chance. Uh, well, Rhonda Fleming's a redhead, but I don't know whether she's going to do anything. I won't. Well, this is Maureen O'Hara. Oh. Yeah, is it Maureen O'Hara? That's right. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I'm exhausted, panel, but you did splendidly. Actually, it is right on Wednesday. Is it, it is Perry Como. Como. Yes, I, with Perry on Wednesday, on but then Wednesday. I'm also going to do Mrs. Miniver for David Suskind on special tonight. On oh, lovely. January the 7th. Lovely. Well, that's well the television that's screen will be enhanced by your presence. I'm glad you're here well, to do Well, thank you very much. much. And, Miss Maureen, thank you for being our guest. It's always thank a delight you. to have so I, much I must say, I didn't know how to answer you on, on um, was I American or not, because I was born in Ireland, but I am an American citizen. She's an American gal now, her. right? Well, there's yes. no yes. doubt about it. Not well, by birth, no. but an American in, gal in now. But I'm an American girl now. Right. It's a deal. Okay. Thank you very much, Miss Maureen. Thank you very Maureen. much. <laughs> We'll have another contestant after this word from our alternate sponsor.